Yes, What's up, Rock? You good? You ready? Yes. Come on, let's get on point. Do I need headphones? We're on the point three to be no back, Cave Radio. No, I need Dang, you know, yes. start all over. We got, we got, we got the infamous Tommy Hill, Tommy. Call, call legendary. No, call me Philadelphia's it's big boss, and I'm here now. Philadelphia, and, 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 big and, boss, and, and, and I'm here Somebody now. And, and guess what? I, I've been listening to everything everybody had to say. Yeah. So now, and I, you know, I just want to listen to. To I've been on the thirty fourth floor, honestly. So I really haven't heard a lot of that stuff because it really doesn't come up on my elevator that high. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm here now. All right. So it, I'm in person. Yeah. And I, I and and all the questions y'all got to ask me, I want to ask them all. And, and big up to the city. Big up to everybody in prison. Big up to all the females that's in prison. We want to give y'all love because we never give y'all no love. I know I never gave y'all love before. <laughs> I want to give y'all love now. What's up, Tommy Dirt? Go wake my father up. Upgrade his Ford. You know wow. he's listening. Let's get yeah. this in. Yeah. So, um, good to see you, Rug. I'm proud of you, baby. Hey, man. I'm, I'm doing me. That's uh, what's up. You know. That's what's up. What's up with you, though, dog? I'm yeah. blessed, baby. I'm yeah. blessed, man. So, I see you still in Philly. Yeah, I'm still in Philly, Yeah, man. yeah. I can't I mem- leave, man. I remember I was a part of bringing you here. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, my man. Yes, yes, yes. Great, yes, great, great. Good to be here. Look, look. He had to set that out right there. Good you know, I brought you here. You know what I mean? Good to be here. I helped you here. You know what I mean? No doubt. You're a good dude. You're a good dude. You always hustle. Yeah. You always hustle. You helped me. You took me on a tour from Universal. Then after Universal, we went on an independent tour. Yeah. I mean, yeah. folk, you got to tell them, folk, we was yeah. rapping our own no, trucks. No, we was doing the Making big. our we own movies and enjoying life. Big. So yeah, yeah. Was- big up to big up to Big Mo, big up to Team BB, the Plush Brothers, big yeah. up to the whole foundation. Let's get that out the way. Yeah. And um, as soon as my water come back, we can start. So as the water get back, you can start. <laughs> yes, Come on, Hill. You don't like need I, no like, water. Like, 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 like I said, said it's nice cameras action. Yeah, right now, man. Let's get it cameras action. Dog, you know I have to I have to ask the the first question. Right. Boy backs, the footage. Right. I seen it on YouTube, got it last like what was it? Right, what was it like week and a half? Yeah, like a right, week right, and a half ago. Yeah. It was like eight views when we seen yeah, it. it. we it started off eight views. I got a call at seven in the morning. Right. You know what I mean? They said, yo, boy backs is, you know, had something to say. So I said, all right, you know, and I watched it. And boy, did he have something to say. Right, right, you right. Know? Uh How'd that come about? Like, first of all, did you have something to do with that? To be honest, it's, it's like Bax's brother had died. His name was Hemi. Mm, right. And Hemi was my guy, like, because we all grew up together from Richard Allen Project. Um, I live in Atlanta now. So I get a call that um that Bax's brother passed away. Rest in peace to Hemi, Raddick, Bank, and the whole nine. And in Maine. And um, and I came to the funeral and a lot of people was looking at me funny like I wasn't supposed to be there. But Due to the problems me and other family members had, that has nothing to do with, with me loving Hemi. Right, so right. I right. had to go, you know, to see my brother, and um, it was a, you know, and I had to go pay my respects to his mom, and I think that touched backs. I think that really touched them, and I think he was like, wow, after me and him had our whatever we had for me to still come, that was honorable. So I think he respected that, and and he came to me and he said, um. You know, he wants to do this, he wants to do that, but I I quit music. I wasn't really rapping no more. I've been making more money doing other stuff, honestly. And then with the whole snitching thing on my name, it's like I wasn't even trying to be going back and forth with these guys and all that. So um, we had a conversation. Warren Ye from Richard Allen Project worked very hard to get me and Bax on the phone because I wouldn't speak to him. Mike Knox played a big part in that, too. And um, we got on the phone and it was like, yo, this is my guy, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is my guy. I love my dude. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That was a hell of a statement, though. I mean, like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, that like, dude really came out and really, you know, kind of put himself on the front for it and saying that he set front you up. Dead. But to be, to, to, he had a conversation with me and he asked me about a few things. I said, brother, I can't even talk to you unless you clear this up because you got my family in danger. Like, a lot of people don't understand this is about my kids. I got kids in Richard Allen. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got kids in Philly. So the people that I, I deal with, I deal with real people. I dealt with you on a rap music side. Mm-hmm. But when I left that studio, I went to Joey Molino's house. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I went to Sham Shadeen's house to deal with, you know, I, I was friends with his daughter. Yeah. I went and kicked it with real people. So I had another life that was going on outside of rap. And then Richard Allen is Richard Allen. Right, yeah. right. I feel so it was, it, was, it was a very serious situation. And, and, and you know, to, be, to be, be, be really real with you, I was like, I was taken back. It brought tears to my eyes, yo, to see my dude yeah. get on there and say that, man. Because I never seen nobody do nothing like that ever in life. 
Uh, never. I never seen a what? person. So when he did that, was that the first time you heard about that, or did you know about this for a little while? And he just, know about what? Like, like, like him setting you up and that. Come on, thing. brother. Like, you know, I'm in jail. It's yeah. paperwork. I'm no. I, I knew from the day I went. I'll get. Can I get? Do we got enough time for me to tell you a story? We got. We got quick. We got. We got. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna just get us to the city. Yeah. And this is an intimate another, conversation. Another minute. And we, you know, we'll okay. come back. Okay. Yeah. This what? is an intimate conversation with the city. This is ain't for nobody, but this is for Philadelphia to understand what really happened. I got a deal with Universal, and I was getting 1.5 million in January 2004. So what happened was I went to the bank and I started spending money for all my guys to get money. I went and got Ti on the album. I went and got Nelly on the album again. I went and got Petey on the album. I paid all this money on my pocket. I went into my bank account and I took care of bags. I paid my whole crew yeah. so everybody could be cool to yeah. January. Yeah. But in the meantime, I had made some moves on the street too to make sure my wolves was good because if you, if I don't feed my wolves, then my wolves start to eat me mm -hmm. or try to eat me and eat my food. Mm -hmm. So when I went and made the move that I went and made the move with, it was for my family. So the, so so the, so when Bax actually set me up, it was only about a quarter pound. Yeah. See, all the rest of the small. Yeah. No, but I, I have five kilos that they didn't find. See, mm. I, I just brought a new car at the time and I couldn't get in my crib. Yeah. And and it was just a simple mistake. It was God that was on my side. So the keys was next door. <laughs> so they didn't get the keys. All right. Um. So it, it was just like a weird situation because one, once once I got busted, I knew from the door who did it because I just gave him a quarter pound and I gave it to him for free mm. because you ain't had to pay me. This is my dude. I just want everybody to have money. I wanted everybody to have money in their pocket for Christmas mm. and then money in their pocket for New Year's and then everybody could get back with me and pay me the money that, you know what I mean? Because I had to give somebody else some money. Yeah. And it, I mean, dude was already, dude, I got himself in trouble or something. So he was already in the jam. So he said they wanted me so bad because I asked them, this is what I want to clear up to the city again. I'm not a fool. I never sold nobody no coke. Yes, it was mine, but they never got it from me. Yeah. It was Bax was getting it from a lot of my little dudes, yeah. and my, none of my little dudes never were locked up. Yeah. So I was shook in jail. Like, why ain't at least if he's setting me up? At least my young boy who gave him the coke should be locked up too, because he told on everybody. That wasn't me at Boston Market. That wasn't me at all them places. It was only me at the house. You so know. What I'm I mean, because a lot of that was, it was, it, you know, because I read the paper too, you okay. know what I mean? You know, and, yeah. and the paper, it was, you know, they had you over here, they had you up on the boulevard. Brother, you, brother, you know what I mean? brother, look at this though. Do I, I never been an idiot. You I'm know not, I, 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 hold, hold, Listen, hold, hold on. We're going to come back. Right, 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 right. On the right. flip side. No, we're going to go. We, we, we yeah, definitely going to come back. We're going to come back yeah, from yeah, the flip yeah, side. Definitely. Let's go ahead and do Because I still got questions do, on Fox 29. I got, I got some questions. I got questions, dog. <laughs> so, we're going to clear it all up tonight. I'm listening, but yeah. I got some questions. You know what I mean? It's Bat K Radio's 100.3 to, to beat. Hit us up, 215-263-1003. Worldwide, 1-800-232-1003. Hit us up. 100.3 to beat, Bat Cave Radio. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are back. Uh, Richard Allen, infamous. stand up. Yeah. You've been laying down for a minute. <laughs> stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, don't forget it's going down October 26th. Yeah. Back here Radio Live. Yes. Yeah, you know I mean. Yo, we need a sound for that. Sound effect for that. Like a super jam sound effect. Yeah, yeah, we need, some, we need something real. Yeah. Don't be. You ain't gonna be here next week? Don't be here. Uh-oh. Yo, you're fired, oh, man. Yeah, come yeah. on, man. Kyle, come on, Kyle. Come on. We so, need you, yeah. Kyle. Yeah. We gonna work on that. We got Tommy Hill. Yeah. Tommy Butter. Tommy Butter. I'm yes, butter yes, now. Yes, T yes, Butter. Yes, yo, turn my headphones up, please. Just T a Dash bit. Butter. Yes. Absolutely. I mean, you know, absolutely. My my my, my, my dude Swab Ben gave me the name a long time ago, oh God, but yeah. that was only like I remember hearing it before. Yeah, that was personal between family, but okay. now it's like you know, it's you know. All right. All right. Okay, let's do it. So 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 so, I I, I got a question for you. I okay. mean, I know we we talked about a few things off air, right? Now, out of everything that's been going on in your life. Since you had the deal, positive, negative, mostly a lot, a lot of it was negative. How, do you believe in karma? Because I know in, in your time you have done things that may have upset people. You know what I'm saying? Or 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 done things wrong to other people. At least at least how the streets may talk. Right, so right. do you think some of that is what may have came back to you and put you in the, in a position that you didn't want to be in? I mean, why not, man? You know what I'm saying? I come from the streets. I mean, we we do we I dude, I never was a dirty dude. Like real talk. 
You know and see, that's, and, and we know, we, but yeah. we know but, that no, that I'm ain't what talk, the people but think. I'm, but I'm not even concerned about what the people talk. I'm yeah. here today. So right. if the people want to say something to me, they can say it to me. I fed my project. I gave everybody. I fed you. Like, when I got my check, I came right to the person who helped me start. Because oh, yeah. you helped me start. Hey. Like, I'm hey. not like the West of them rap dudes. Hey. When we get money, y'all helped me get my deal, Team PB. So what did I do? I turned that deal over to Eyes and Biz, and they took control, and we all ate. So yeah, yeah, I had sex with a couple baby moms in the city. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, we beat a couple that people happens. up at bars and stuff like that. But <laughs> but as far as the karma coming back to me, I mean, hey man, God works in mysterious ways. So mm. I, I've yeah. done some dirt. I've done I've done a lot of dirt. Yeah. I mean, as far as your plans that, that that you may have now, bad karma might be good karma right now. God works in mysterious yeah. ways, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. God works in mysterious ways. I want to know about Fox 29 News, dog. Okay. Yeah. I got first of all, I got a random text that okay. she was gonna be on Fox 29. Okay. And then um checked it out. Okay. First of all, dog, how did you get them two white men to get on your side? I'm just curious about that, dog. Like real rap. <laughs> Honestly speaking, yeah. they did something wrong to me. And yeah. they knew they did something wrong to me. And they was only stand-up men to fix it. Yeah. It was simple. It's like I, when I got out of prison, I took Day Day. And we put all our money together and we went and got the best lawyers in Philadelphia and we tried to sue all of them. Yeah. But we, our paper wasn't long enough to sue Channel 29. Our paper right. wasn't long enough. So as it's a smart businessman, is either I'm, if I can't beat them, I'm going to join them. Mm -hmm. George Anastasia told me the minute I got out, I took him out to lunch because I said, dude, I'm like, wow. Mm -hmm. He said, Tommy, we owe you a new story. I said, okay, when I'm ready, then I'm going to come sit down and we're going to do business. Yeah. I mean, it's just business. It's like they understand. I sell newspapers. Don't you see how many papers they sold? Don't you see how how, how many how the news was popping? And and the, you know what you know what Dave Stratwiser said to me? I said, Dave, where do y'all get your information from? He said, Tommy, everybody was calling us about you. I said, what well, you didn't even get like facts. He said you were the only one out. Everybody was locked up. It was juicy, so we ran with it. Yeah. Now, 